Hi, hello, and welcome back to the Power of Personal Branding and Manifestation Podcast with your host, it's me, Malika, content creator, entrepreneur, and your girl to personal branding and manifestation. So if you're new here, hi, welcome. And if you are not, well, welcome back. I'm so glad you are tuning in today because I'm going to be going over the top mistakes that are costing you followers or your dream client. Okay. So, or both. All right. And so if you are someone that like you've been posting content, but you're not seeing any followers from that. Okay. Or on the other side, you have a business and you've been seeing followers, but you're not seeing any sales. You're not seeing any conversions. You're not seeing anyone like reaching out for your service. Or if you are getting clients, they're not really willing to pay you at your true value or they're kind of like wishy-washy. They're not like, they're basically not your dream client and you're kind of like not liking the work that you have to do for them. Okay. So any of these categories, I'm going to tell you, okay, what the mistakes you, you are doing and what you want to avoid because these results are caused by these mistakes that you are making and maybe you're not even aware that like you're making them or that it, this could be a mistake, you know? And so I'm here to help you and guide you. And hopefully you can learn also from my own mistakes and what I have personally learned, you know, being an entrepreneur, um, creating content and everything. So this is going to be so freaking good. So freaking good. Okay. And I am so happy to see all of you like commenting and engaging with the podcast on YouTube. Uh, the one tuning in, like I am so grateful. And this episode was actually inspired by some of you guys and your like questions in the comments. So let's jump into it. Okay. Okay. First mistake is not showing or mentioning your niche in your content. So this is like you are being too wide with your content creation, with what you put out there. Okay. And maybe you're thinking like, no, like I make it very precise. I'm like, this is the Amazon fine for self care. Okay. And you would think like, this is specific, right? It's like Amazon fine for self care, but it's not because you are not mentioning who this is for. Like, what is the outcome they're getting out of this? Uh, why they should care about this? Like, um, this is what I mean. Like, this is not precise enough for me to feel called out, to feel like this, this piece of content is meant for me versus best finds for girls to up level their self care routine on a daily. And then I'm like easy easy things. Like, I don't know, something like that. Like this right, right in the title is, or in the hook. Okay. You can use this as a hook or as a title. Okay. It's giving me who it's for. So it's for girls that wants to up level their self care routine. So I'm mentioning the self care things, right? So it's for self care stuff. So this is the, what the video you're talking about, but then who you're talking to is not just girls, right? It's girls who are willing to up level their skincare routine because these are people that are going to be looking for that, right? And if they only see best Amazon self care, they're not going to feel called out because it's not giving them the desired outcome that they want. So your hook is very important. Okay. So this could be the hook of like, you know, your thumbnails, let's say you're on YouTube, or this could be the, the hook of like, if you're doing a TikTok or an Instagram, you know, this would be like the title that you'd have on screen or like what you would, what you would communicate right away, right off the bat. You know, another example I have for this is let's say you are talking about anxiety. Okay. Let's say you have a video, it's about anxiety and everything, or you have a service that helps people with anxiety. Okay. So instead of just saying, these are my tips, uh, for you to be less anxious. Okay. Instead, you would want to approach it into more of a niche aspect. So 
you're a girl in your 20s and you're you're you have crippling anxiety these are the things that have helped all of my clients okay so right off the bat you are showing proof that this works you are calling out your niche and who this is for and you're saying that this works and so this is their desired outcome this is what they want and so this is the importance of mentioning or showing your niche that it's in your hook your thumbnail um you know like like caption on screen all these things this is also going to help with the explore page side of things and also this is more searchable mistake number two is not having enough value with the inside of your content because yes it's good to have a thumbnail yes it's good to like you know, have a hook and be like, this is why you should listen to me and everything. But if after that, like the actual inside of your content is not valuable enough, there's no reason to care. So people are not going to stay on your content. You know, the problem is most of the time what I see happening is that the inside of the content is a bit too gonna say this like surface level i don't know how to explain this okay let's say you have a microphone you're like okay like this is the microphone i recommend and you're only saying like i recommend this microphone because um it's pink and it's the best versus i'm like i absolutely love this microphone i've been searching for months because i've been wanting to start a podcast and i was like i have no idea what to pick you know i wanted something that was good quality that like was reliable and that would actually give me great sound and i stumbled upon this this microphone which happened to be pink so i was happy because pink is my color obviously okay so you see how like I'm adding my personality into it. I'm adding like some storytelling into it. I'm adding my input on it. I'm not just talking about something and keeping it surface level. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> Basically, I want you to get deeper so that you can truly connect with your audience, with who you're talking to, okay? So if it's your dream client, you need to be able to connect with them. And if it's your dream audience, again, you need to be able to connect with them on a deeper level rather than just being like, this is why you should do this or being like a robot or being like you're doing a presentation. Like, I want to see how I connect with you and I want to see your values. And this is exactly what most of the time is missing when someone is not attracting the right kind of clients okay is because you're not showing enough of your personality enough of your values that you're just attracting kind of anyone so you need to really incorporate who you are mistake number three is not having enough content um so this is exactly why when i first launched my podcast instead of launching one episode i launched four why because i really wanted people to get a real grasp of what my podcast will be about you know because let's say i were to only post one video only like it's not enough for people to know what to expect from me right it's not enough consistency and it's not enough for them to decide and make a decision because even though they like that one video that i'm making or let's say they like the first eight videos that i'm making right but they're all different um they're not gonna know like why they should stay they're not gonna know like am i gonna like her next video you know and this is why it's so important to be consistent in the type of content that you create um you know because that's initially what makes people decide okay do i want this or do i not want this and if there's not enough proof there's not enough consistency people are just not going to decide and then already you're losing client or you're losing followers let's say even you have a couple of videos and you have a couple of videos on your instagram but you're not consistent with the way that you're posting or you're not consistent with the kind of videos that you make again it's not enough proof for someone to be committed for someone to be committed they know they need to know exactly what they're getting into and if they don't 
there's not enough trust for them to take the leap and be like, yes, let me follow someone or let me like follow and eventually become their client because why? It's not enough trust. It's not enough to make them commit because following someone is a, a commitment. It is like, it's like you're always going to see their stuff popping up all the time, you know? So you have to make sure you like them. Number four is not keeping it engaging. So what I mean by that is that let's say you are creating a video, okay? It needs to be something that is like keeping me engaged, that is keeping me wanting more and more and more to listen to you. If there's like gaps in your videos, if there's like long pauses, you know, like that is immediately like, I'm, I'm not focused anymore. I'm not focused anymore on your videos. I'm getting impatient and you know, everything is like so fast paced now. I find, you know, maybe a bit less on YouTube and obviously like podcasting and stuff, but still like it still needs to be engaging. It still needs to be enough for someone to be willing to stay. And most of the time what I see happening is that there's a lot of gaps during the video, right? So like, there's a lot of, or there's a lot of things that you could like cut out that is basically saying the same thing over and over again and not be so biased to your own content and be like, okay, like how can I trim this down to be more entertaining? How can I trim this down for people to want to follow until the end? Because sometimes there's stuff that you can cut out or that you can make shorter. It doesn't need to be so long or it doesn't need to be so many gaps and pauses in between when you're speaking right or let's say you're showing something maybe it could be more engaging maybe you could do a different style of content so that it's more visually appealing to the eye mistake number five okay girly we are halfway through and you're gonna want to stay until the end because i'm keeping the juice for the end obviously okay for the girls that are actually committed to getting those results that they want to see so but every single one is important. So number five, okay, is to stop making your content about you. Because I see this all the time with influencers, with uh, brands, with people that have services. Um, and the, the, the thing is, most people that do this don't realize that they're doing it. And I'm gonna give you some a few examples because I see this quite often and from maybe your perspective you're saying like no like this is for my audience this is for my potential clients like this is for my audience that i'm that i'm putting this out there that i'm showing this but from an outside perspective from the other side it does seem like around you about you about your business about your service and not about how you can serve someone else so, and this is something that, again, I'm telling you, like most people make this mistake, but they don't even realize. And maybe you are watching this video right now and you're like, no, like I don't make this mistake. Like I'm not making my content about me, but I'm going to give you some example of like, maybe your content itself is to serve someone else, but the way you're going about it is making it seem like it is about you. And how you know that you are not making your content about you is that from an outside perspective, I can clearly see and know what I can take away from your piece of content, from what you are doing. I can clearly take away something from that single piece of content and I get value from that single piece of content. Okay, let me let me give you an example that is that would be considered like around you. Let's say I want to make a video about like stuff I've learned in my 22 years, okay? So my video would be like, this is what I've learned as a 22 year old, I'm gonna tell you 20 things that I've learned because I'm turning 22 this year. I'm already 22, but whatever, okay? Right, right off the bat, maybe you would think like, no, this is serving an audience. Like I'm giving away value of what I have learned as a 22 year old and I'm showing it to my audience, right? But you are making the same mistake by not mentioning a niche or like a desire in your, you know, in your content. So it does seem, it does come off like it's about you. It's about you are turning 22. You are like knowing all these things and you are like, oh, you should listen to me, but they don't know why they should listen to you. That's the thing. 
you're not giving people a reason to care about why they should listen to you specifically. And so let's say I were to scratch that and instead I would approach it in a different way, which would be serving a community would be this way. Okay. These are the 22 things I've learned in my 22 years of living in order to change my life and finally embrace who I am. You know, like right off the bat, like this is much more precise. This is something that I can identify with. And I'm like, oh my God, like she's going to tell me how she got to embrace who she is, how she got to be more confident in herself, right? I know what I can take away. So therefore I'm going to stay to listen to what this person has to say, because I know why I should listen because I'm like, oh my God, she's going to tell me like, in her 22 years, how she got more confident, how she finally became more herself, um, you know? So right off the bat, like doing something like that is much more beneficial to someone else that is watching from the outside. And again, it's like those little things that like, maybe you're like, oh, this is so small. It's such a small change, but like it does make a big difference. Now I'm going to give you another example for businesses. Okay. Or a service. Okay. So let's say I were to call on and be like, if you are experiencing these symptoms, that means that you have depression or that means that you have anxiety. Okay. So let's say I do, I do have anxiety and I watch that video and I'm like, okay, I have anxiety. What am I taking away from this video? Like, let's say I, I'm like, okay, yes, this is me. This is the symptoms that I have. Okay. Now what? Like, it's not valuable enough. Like this is again, like it makes it looks about you. It's like, Oh, this is like, are you experiencing these symptoms? Yes. Oh, this means you have anxiety. You should go and do my service because you know, I'm going to solve your anxiety, but it's like, why should I listen to you? How are you helping me? How do I know you can help me? There's not enough to take away from that piece of content for me to know that you can help. So this again, makes it about you. This makes it about your business. Same thing. If you're like, you know, you're in aesthetic or you do skin, like you're like, Oh, if you have breakouts, um, you need a facial. Like, what am I taking away from this? Nothing like, <laughs> you know, it's like more like, go with me but like why why what am i taking away from that single piece of content every piece of content i should be able to take away something that it's something relatable that it's something funny that it's something educational that it's something that's teaching me something you know and not just so blunt like surface level like you know what i mean now for the next mistake i'm gonna mention let's go into what is giving you followers but not client not conversion Okay. So this basically comes down to number six of the mistake, which is you are not properly showing your value or your expertise. And so this is when personal branding comes into play. Okay. Because with your personal brand, you are building your online presence, but you're also talking to the camera. And so this is building trust, which helps a lot with sales, especially if you're selling something digital, okay, or a service even because people get a feeling of like who you are, what it's going to be like to work with you really. If you are posting content, but within that content, you're only showing like, okay, um, this is what I do. So you should book me. This is what I do. You should buy with me, or this is what I do. You should download my free ebook or you should download my free guide, right? It's like, it's not enough for me to care as someone watching from the outside. So why should your target audience? Why should your dream client care to go with you specifically? And why should they be like, okay, you are the expert. You know what you're talking about. They need to be able to see the value first before they even buy from you before they even go with you. If you're keeping everything so surface level, like, Oh, if you are experiencing anxiety, you need to go to therapy. It's like, I don't see why you're the right person to help me because in your videos, in your content, you're not helping me. 
I don't get any value from it. I don't get to see your expertise. So why are you the expert, right? That's what you need to show. Now, mistake number seven is being too generic, okay? If everything that you're doing is too broad, too generic, right? It's like, it's not really gonna make other people see you or pique an interest. So let's say I were to do like summer outfits and I'm like, I'm doing, these are the perfect summer outfits versus saying, these are the best summer outfit for girls going to Italy looking to look bougie. Like, very different approach, right? It's not too generic. I see your vision. I see what I'm getting into. So it's not too generic and it's searchable. Let's say I'm going to Italy. I'm going to search that in the, top, in the search bar. I'm going to be like, oh my God, like uh, outfit for Italy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So not too generic. Now, mistake number eight is probably one of the most common one, which is not doing storytelling or not being good at storytelling because storytelling is a huge part of brand success, of content creation success. Um, it is basically what communicates with your audience, you know, your values, what your mission is, um, you know, what you're doing here, right? And so if you're not able to be good with your storytelling, um, it's a lot harder to get people on board with you and be committed to what you have to offer. Number nine is uh, taking too much inspos from other people. And I see this so much, especially with like businesses or even like, no, even like influencers that are starting out. Um, and the thing is, when you take so much inspiration from everybody else, you're not being authentic, you're not being original, and you are not standing out. And this is why I say personal branding is the most important thing ever. It is the number one marketing tool that you want to have and master in order to market yourself, okay? That you're an influencer, that you're a business, that you do a service, you need personal branding to stand out and the thing about personal branding is that your approach is going to be unique your content strategy is going to be unique to your need to your mission to your goals and to your audience okay and this is exactly what you want to create your content strategy around your personal branding around why because this number one is going to be so much more authentic to you and who you are, but also you are going to be able to connect so much more with the right people. Okay. That it's your client or that it's, you know, your target audience that is, you want followers that you want to have your dream client, right? You need to have the right personal branding to go about it, the right kind of strategy to go about it to attract the right client to you. Mistake number 10, I wanna finish up with this one, okay? This is going to be, if you are not getting paid at your true value, okay? This could be for like sponsored posts for UGC, you know? Uh, this could be for, let's say you have a service and you're not getting paid at your true value or, you know, your clients are asking for so much out of you and they're not willing to pay you like your, your, your rate, right? They're not willing to pay you what you're actually worth, what you think you are worth. Okay, this is happening for one single reason. This is happening because your content doesn't reflect well your value. And again, this is why personal branding and the way you market yourself matters so much. Because if you don't show the value into paying for a price, people are not going to be willing to pay for it. So if you're not showing the value and like, this is the value in paying for this. This is why you want an expert for this. This is why you need to pick me because I am the expert. I am the best person to do this for you. And you don't show it in your personal brand. Again, like you're losing people, like they're not going to see the value. They're not seeing the value. If someone is not willing to pay you at your true value, the value that you think you are worth, it's not because, um, you know, like all the clients are like not good and like, 
you're you're like all the brands are not willing to pay you and everything it's not about that that's who you're attracting based on the content you're that you're putting out there that's the thing that that is a result of how you are presenting yourself online and so if you want better client if you want um people that are willing to pay you more you need to change something within your content within the way that you market yourself if you yourself are tired of chasing after your clients you're tired of like creating pieces of content that don't bring you any result or you're spending your money on ads and you're not seeing any conversion any sell or you're not attracting your dream audience your dream clientele and you finally want to attract your dream client you want to increase your income you want to increase your sales you want to get paid to create content the solutions for you is to start building your magnetic personal brand. And so if that sounds like something for you, I invite you to book a free discovery call with me. Now the link for that is down below and see if you would be a good fit for the program that I'm offering for all the content creators and entrepreneur girlies. I'd love to see, you know, how I can help you. Why are you stuck? And what exactly is the plan to getting you from where you are right now to where you want to be? And so that's what we'll go over in the call so and it's totally free it's a free call so definitely check that out if you love this episode definitely share it to someone else that could benefit from it i hope this episode was so freaking helpful to you and if it was like please let me know down below i love to hear from all the girlies okay see you back here next week same time okay bye thanks so much for tuning in and don't forget to leave your five star rate and review on the podcast i love to know what you guys think of the episodes and i will meet you here next week